what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy the the, This Bryce Underwood stuff broke at the end of the show or right after the show yesterday? I think Towards it was the right end. after. Or was it during the show? I think we're like maybe last segment. Yeah. I was going to say, I think it was during, but like the end of the show. Okay. Yeah. So uh, right when we were about to get off air yesterday, a bit unfortunate timing, but uh, it was reported by On3 that the Michigan Wolverines were going full godfather, trying to do a full Corleone and make uh, Bryce Underwood. I don't know if I could ever feel this. Like <laughs> Ten and a half million over four years. That's a lot of money, guys. A lot of money. Um, And we got a lot more information after that. But, Jake, what was your initial reaction when you heard $10.5 million over four years? Um, You could take my NFL salary for six years in the NFL and definitely double it and probably double it in some changes. So... Like I just I say that not to be like oh my god what is that? no it's to it let you know how much money it is it's a lot of money like I was I was selecting the third round of the draft yeah in the in the professional leagues and yeah. it's almost triple what I made in six years it's a lot of money uh, so what I found to be shocking is for for my personal reaction was oh man that's a that's a that's a big offer but I kind of was stunned by how I didn't feel very wide-eyed by it. Like, it's 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 That's so true. crazy how yeah. quickly we've gotten used to this, right? Because then I'm like, I mean, we'll get into it, but then I'm thinking about like, well, you know, this player only makes 500K, and I'm like, wait, how did I arrive at this player only makes 500K when just like two years ago you weren't allowed to pay players at all? It's crazy how quickly this thing has changed. Um, so 10.5 million for four years, trying to go all in on Bryce Underwood, keeping him home, getting that uh, elite quarterback. For what it's worth, Bryce Underwood, right after the story broke first, uh, posted a picture of a wide receiver who, uh, what's the receiver's name, Taylor? Uh, do you remember? The five-star? Uh, yeah. Uh, Corey and Moore? No, not DeCorey Moore. Yeah, I got to hear his, my yeah. notes. It's, it's um, uh, this is his high school teammate. Yes, Philip Wright. So, Philip Wright uh, was committed to Michigan wide receiver. He flips to LSU right after the story broke. Bryce Underwood posted a picture of Philip Wright on his story. Uh, the day goes on and later Bryce Underwood put a graphic on his Instagram story saying Bryce Underwood likely to decline Michigan's offer. Uh, the likely is, is, is kind of funny there, but it seems like Jake Bryce Underwood is so in the boat for LSU that he is going to turn down a four-year, ten and a half million dollar offer. Yeah, and we also don't know like what LSU's top dollar offer is right now. Now it's not close to ten and a half million. I wouldn't think. I think because that's honestly T. As good as he is, and as good as he's going to be, if you're talking about throwing ten and a half million at one player, I mean ten and a half million. Like if I'm Michigan, that gets me a quarterback and four other starters in the portal. Yeah, no, I know, I know. It's um, you can get Miller Moss, who the ceiling's not near what Bryce Underwood, but you get, you could get Miller Moss and four other players for that amount of, and that's that's probably even playing it safe. Like it might even be more than that. And so, like that's another thing that I thought of when I saw ten and a half million. But also, like we don't know what LSU's top offer is either. Now, again, I, I don't think it's ten and a half million by any means. But is it six? I wrote it. I wrote it this way, right? I think you know. I don't know how much else she's paying him, but I'm guessing the difference is enough. Where for the majority of people, you would have to take Michigan's offer very seriously, or maybe take it. Like I, I do believe there's probably a sizable gap there. Yeah. Now, uh, we should know more about this later today. Um, we're working on maybe getting some more information on this front. But uh, but the point is, I do think that Michigan is offering significantly more. But Bryce Underwood's camp has maintained through day one that the, it's it's not not about money now, but he is one of those players that is so good where it's not crazy for him to take a strategy of, but the real money comes in the NFL. 
Now, it's not a guarantee that it'll be good. You never know. You never know, right? Um, but that is something I know his father's had quotes in the past, uh, basically kind of, kind of talking about that. And and also, look, I think if you are a quarterback, um, LSU, as crazy as this is, uh, a, a, a much better place to develop, to put up numbers, to get ready for the NFL. I mean, look at the quarterbacks that are having success in the NFL right now from LSU. Look at the stats they put up while they were at. LSU, and then compare that to Michigan. And I don't care if Michigan wants to like completely try to rehaul things, which I mean, or overhaul things, which again, I don't know that you can do, right? Do you erase all the years you spent kind of building this toughness, run the ball, gritty culture for one player? Does that even work? It's just, it's, and, and I think Michigan did a poor job of recruiting him. Uh, there's the anecdote where uh, Bryce uh, Underwood's high school coach said he saw the LSU coaches and even Michigan beat writers more than he saw the Michigan coaching staff during his recruitment. And they're right down the road. Yeah. So, you know, they came late to the party with a big bag, and it does not seem Probably got like the ploy is going to pay off. Just assume that they would have, you know, just – from the get-go, probably like top three status because, oh, we're Michigan. We're won a national championship. We're right down the road. And look, we've seen that play out at, at LSU before where it's like you just assume because where you're at and then all of a sudden you get in there. Uh, we, who was the guy we used to always? Uh, Tackett Curtis. Yeah. And we talked about him. Uh, he's like, and you got in there too late and he had already made up his mind. And so it happened. Um, and then, you know, BK tried to get on, when, once he got the job, to get on that, that player late. But, you know, this is a staff that's been there. Like, even the head coach who's new has been there. And so, yeah, you get a little slide, and you're like, all right, bet. Like, if you didn't want to do it. And when I was at the Michigan-Oregon game a couple of weeks ago, like, every little small conversation that I heard the beat writers having was about Bryce Underwood. Yeah. And, like, you know, what could they do? And, and I would politely say he's not coming I mean, to everyone that I walked by. If I'm a Michigan fan, and I, and I will say this for LSU fans, too, because there's no guarantee Bryce signs. He still could go to Michigan. Maybe they do more money, right? Like, stuff could still change. Uh, any college football fan, again, though, be wary of putting a ton of emotion into a five-star high school quarterback. They rarely finish at your school, less than 50% of the time. Now, if you offer a contract like this, that's going to be a bit different. It's probably a bit more sticky. And that's what I want to explore here in a second. You know what else is crazy, though, Jake? This, I think the temptation is to think of this as unprecedented, but it's actually not. Because we know that Nico, a couple of years ago, signed four years, $8 million at Tennessee. Yeah. So this really is the same thing, just um, more money, Like, which is exactly how contracts, exactly how contracts work. Um, here's where it does get interesting, though. So I believe Garrett Nussmeyer will likely choose to come back. Certainly uh, now, yeah. Uh, I believe that... I would guess, I don't know if I'm 100% correct here. Again, I'm gonna I'm doing work trying to figure it out. But I would guess that would mean that Bryce Underwood would be more highly paid than Garrett Nussmeyer next year. And is that a weird locker room dynamic? Does that hmm. mess with playing time intentions? If Garrett struggles, do you feel like you have to pay this guy because you're paying him? Or the people who are paying him, the boosters, are they going to be saying that? Like, yeah. this is the new age of college football. These are the kind of... Uh, 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 scenarios that teams are going to have to start to figure out and operate. Remember, last year, Brian Kelly not wanting to commit a million dollars to interior defensive tackle because why would he pay a, 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 a one-year rental who's okay more than your best player? Um, And so that, that 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 is a bit interesting to me is that you could have a situation where the backup quarterback would be paid more than the starter despite never having done anything on the college level. Uh, now, this does happen oftentimes in the NFL. Not, sure. not the quarterback position necessarily. We know that. But it happens across the board as far as, okay, you know, our starting two corners are making this. We drafted a corner in the first round. He's the third corner. And he's not playing as much, but he's still making more. Um, the fourth receiver is making more than the starting fullback and the starting tight end. Yeah. Uh, you know, whatever that, that situation might be, you deal with that all the time in the NFL locker room. And I know certainly the position I played, like I would play this amount of plays, this guy would play four plays, and I know he's making double what I make. And those are things like as an adult, because that's what you are, you're grown once you get to the NFL, like you just kind of deal with and you're like you accept it as what it is. But I wonder how teenagers – 
and parents of yeah. teenagers will deal with something like that at the same position, the one position that's kind of a little tricky when you start talking about dynamics like that. Um, D. Nicholas says, Bryce Odenberg would probably beat out nuts for the job. Again, guys, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Uh, Nico Iamaliava didn't even beat Joe Milton out for the job. Um, and in fact, now we're actually seeing he's kind of playing at the same level, maybe even a little less than Joe Milton was. It's just that Tennessee as a whole is better this year in terms of Dylan Sampson and that defense. Um, I think it's good. Like the same way I think it's good if you can hold your water and have patience and not immediately throw a rookie into the NFL 90% of the time. There's your exceptions, you know. There's your C.J. Strouds and your Jaden Daniels. Uh, but look at the others. Uh, like the same way that I think that's good, I think it's good for a high school quarterback to be in a comfortable enough position where he can come in, redshirt, learn the ropes for a year, and then uh, take over that starting role. So the timing of this would work out perfectly if that's where Underwood's head's at, right? Um, I don't think he would just come in immediately and beat out us. I, I, I do not think that. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe, maybe he's that transcendent. Um, you could. I mean, look, you, you, it could be a Chris Leak, Tim Tebow situation. Chris Leak's the guy. The difference there is Tebow was such a uh, – physical difference. It was just a completely different style of quarterback, right? He was massive. You could put him in on goal line. Yeah, you could do a lot of gadget say, stuff yeah, you don't with have to do him. The same st- um, let me give a better example then. Uh, Flynn and Paralu. I still I still think that represents more of a change You don't think Nuss and Bryce than, Underwood are different? Um, enough to, to I mean, I still, think of, I still think of Bryce Underwood as a pocket quarterback. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, I think the skill set's a little bit a I mean, different. Yeah, I think, I think, I think you run a little more. Yeah. Well... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but I mean, I don't know, dude. I have no idea how Bryce Hunter is going to translate to the college level yet. Uh, the point is, though, when you have the consensus number one recruit um, across all ranking services, and you get him, it's very exciting, and you hope that it works out. Uh, that it works out over time. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes! I mean, those guys—they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again. Hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.